Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and I'm here with George and Zach. If you're new here, and you'd like to learn how to play this game, please check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. And just a quick reminder that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out in the comments and we'll see if we can make it happen. You can also leave a comment to help us improve or just to let us know what you'd like to see next. Okay, let's introduce our decks for today, starting with Zach. Hi everyone, today I'm playing Mauricio's war crime pile. I'm drafting a bunch of farmers into a war and running them into things until I win. That's the plan. <laughs> wow. All right, next up we have George. Hey everyone. Uh... Back at it again with a little thing I like to call the Poison Katana. I'm going to be running Kazin, the Freedom Fighter. I'm going to try and see if I can be as aggressive as possible while still maintaining some tactics since I've been getting closer and closer to winning. I'm trying to see if I can push myself to like juggle more than even the trifecta. If I can handle four alignments. Wow, all right. That's ambitious. And finally, we have me playing Grindon, personal trainer, with a deck I like to call Swole Control. So this deck is all about keeping the board under control while I assemble a team of beefy, high-powered denizens. And that's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. Baller. I guess I'm going first. So I'm going to start by jamming a Verdant Path. That's going to let me look at the top card of my deck. We'll keep that there. I did use my free draw accidentally somehow. Then I'm going to jam a Killer Bees. Mmm, okay. And I will pass my turn. Okay, let's get her started. Play Statue of the Teacher. I have a free draw. And I play... Mm, okay. History Education! Chun, chun. <laughs> and I pass my turn. Funny as always, George. All right, I'll get my gold for turn. <laughs> I'll play this location, the Hidden Crag. I'll use my free draw. And I will spend my first gold on bomb research. I'm sure research. you're happy to see that, Zach. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not happy to see that, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Pass the turn. All right. I'll start with my free draw. I'll play my second Verdant Path. It's going to let me look at the top card of my deck upon arrival. I will keep that there. I'm going to abandon this location. All right. I'm going to play a termination notice no. in a mm. grand theater. Mm. And Alvin, I'll make a deal with you. Let's see if you take it. All right. I will not swing this killer bees at any of your stuff or use the termination notice on the bomb research if you don't touch me for the duration of bomb research's phases. Ah, oh, it's, it's tempting, but I can't take that deal. That This bomb no. research is going directly at that B. <laughs> oh, what a shame. All right, pass turn. Okay, well, I mean, I've uh, got to add phases. and Free draw, abandon this, to play this, <laughs> play this restraining order, go mm. down to one gold, draw that card, uh, from history education, and now I have statue of the great conqueror that I am playing. Past turn. Yikes! All right, uh, I'll get my gold for turn. Put my phase counters on. I will take my free draw. Um, and yeah, sorry, Zach. Bomb research is going to ping your B for one. Ouch. B E aggressive. All right, so I will play statue of the good king. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to put that on. He's a good king. But I just want the alignment so I can play. Safeguard, and then I'll use my last gold to put a search counter on Hidden Crag. I'll pass that way. Well, start with my free draw. I will jam an Explore the Unknown, and then I will use my Termination to banish the bomb research. Yep, fair enough. Drop a Grand Theater and abandon it, and that will be my turn. Okay, let's get her going. I've got three gold. I have added a phase to my history education that I will use now. Okay. Slave cells. And I also play the astute scholar. Cool. 
And Ready. I draw another card due to his arrival. And now I am out of gold. You can draw two cards off of Stu's Caller. Oh. Ha. All right. Get my gold for turn. Get my counter. I will use my free draw. Okay, well, no one locked down my hidden crag. That's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and spend one gold to put a search counter. Gaining two gold, going up to four gold. I'll use two of that gold to play Fight Starter. Fight Starter has an arrival ability. I may challenge another denizen that I don't control. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge this guy here. So the way challenge works is, George, on your next turn, a Steel Scholar will be forced to attack into the Fight Starter. And wow. I'm going okay. to make the Fight Starter a little bit beefier by putting Steadfast on it. Okay. And then for my next two gold, I will play this card, Safety Regulations. Unfortunately, I am running out of cards, but I'm afraid to get too greedy with my abandoning. So I'll just pass like that. Okay. Start by adding a phase to explore the unknown. I'm going to look at the top three cards, put one into my hand, and then shuffle. Hmm. I'm going to grab that one. Then I will shuffle. I'm going to jam a decorated path. Arrival, look at the top. I'll keep that, I think. I'm going to abandon the decorated path, drawing a card. And then I will play a traveling caravan. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's going to let me produce three settlers. Yep. Look at all of them. I will draw a card, taking my free draw. I think that is going to be the extent of my turn. Pass. So now we're back to me. And I am going up to four gold. Okay. I need to play Desire to Live. Oh. All right. Well, you're going to have to pay th uh, four for that if you do. You're not aligned to purple. That, That's fine. All I right. have no choice. And... Active zone. And... I would also attack my slave cells. So that's uh, You one. can't. You're forced to attack oh. the fight starter. Oh, right. I have to attack, right. Yep. So you're going to yeah, take... So I have to... You're going to go down to zero, but it's not, it's not going to matter. He's going to stick around. Uh, the damage is going to be prevented on mine because he's dead fast. Nice. And at least I saved my Indensian. That's right. I think that's good enough. So I pass. All right. Get my gold. Get my counters. Free draw. Okay. So I will play the uncaged Brindle Tusk. And then I'm oh, going to go man. ahead and have the Brindle Tusk become steadfast, completing that campaign. And then I will have these two guys get plus zero, plus one with the safety regulations. Okay, so... George, I want to remove some of these things to get the point scoring off Zach's board. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to be hostile. So I'm going to attack with this. Can I have some amnesty from your restraining order if I if I turn my guy hostile? Cause... Oh, yeah. No, you're that's not that's not necessarily for him. And only if there's like it probably be more for your uncaged brittle tusk. OK, so, yeah, so no with this I'm not attacking with this, but I am attacking mm -hmm. with this. So, yeah, no worries. Zach, yeah. I'm going to attack into one of your settlers. Turning my guy hostile. He's not going to take any damage because okay. he's steadfast. It's one of my settlers. Yeah. Uh, so my guy's hostile now, but hopefully, George, you don't punish me for that. I'm just trying to make sure that Zach doesn't score too many points. All right. And then I will go ahead and play my own restraining order. Uh, I'm going to have the fight starter challenge the traveling caravan. So on your next turn, Zach, the traveling caravan is forced to attack into the fight starter. Yep. All right. And I will pass the turn that way. Okay, adding a phase counter to explore the unknown. I'm going to use it, take that one, then shuffle. I'm going to play my champion, yeah. Mauricio. Let's see here. Play an obnoxious name caller. Oh, no. Nuts. Oh. I'm going to play an alluring seductress. Oh, oh no so here's what i'm gonna try and do so i do now have inspiration so traveling caravan is going to run into the fight starter right so... steadfast is gonna reduce that damage to just one mm -hmm. this will change zones i will score two points i'm gonna use obnoxious name caller's inspiration ability to give fight starter minus one minus one yep I will then take it with the Alluring Seductress. Yep. I'm going to then have this Settler 
run itself into... I guess Astute Scholar doesn't die, right? Let me take my free draw, which I haven't done yet. I'm going to have both of these settlers run themselves into the uncaged Brindle Tusk. All right, and because he's steadfast, he will take no damage. You won't take any damage, but I will score an additional four points. And then that is going to be my turn. Beautiful turn. Beautiful turn. Okay, so five gold. Uh, I play my champion. All right. Gazen. Used my free draw. I abandon statue of the great conqueror but before i draw i want to just put this into play crowded stadium draw the card uh, but yeah in the future you cannot i mean when you draw a card when your hand is full you have to put it mm -hmm. back on top of your deck so what you had to do is drop this first and then abandon your location to draw that card after you made space right i apologize um right i have one last gold and i put it to crowded stadium uh, I would actually like to use my astute scholar to get rid of the obnoxious name caller. All right, name caller is gone. Makes sense. Mm, I'm going to use Kazen to attack. Yeah. The slave cells because I need to do damage to that. All right, so you deal two. He does not become hostile because you're attacking something you control. I activate Kazen's aggression to score two points. Nice. You're on the board. And I pass. All right. Grab my gold for turn, get my counter, free draw. Okay, I'll play this location, use its arrival to take a look at the top card. Don't think that's going to be helpful right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and abandon Hidden Crag to draw a card. Oh, you already won? You have what? No, already? no, no, no. <laughs> that is a sigh of having too many things to consider and compute at the same time. All right, so first of all, I'm going to play Grindon because I would like to start scoring points and then for one gold i'm going to use the restraining order to banish my own fight starter that betrayed Woo! me uh i'm gonna have this put two health on my brindle tusk and on my grindon and then i'm gonna end my turn scoring three points because i have one denizen with four more power and then i will lose my gold and pass the turn okay um Bellas are mostly gone, so I'm going to use Explore the Unknown, adding the final phase to it, looking at the top three. All right, shuffling away, completing indeed. I'm going to drop Eldrian, use its arrival ability to find a location. A lot of wind conditions. Mm -hmm. well, I'm trying my hardest. I'm trying my hardest. Mm -hmm. Um... Grabbing a decorated path. I will play the decorated path, which is going to let me look at the top card. I don't think I want that, so that'll go on the bottom. I'm going to take my free draw. Okay. I'm going to play, I guess, a work the fields. Okay. With the last bit Aww. of my gold. And then I'm going to have my alluring seductress probably swing itself into, I want to say, Grindon. Okay. I will gain two points. Yes, sir. I'm going to pass my turn scoring one point off Eldrian. Nice. Uh, so, Zach, it's, a, it's just a small detail, but technically passing is different than ending. So ending is the turn action that will trigger this and score you points. And then once you're okay. done that, then you pass. Gotcha. Good to know. Okay. So six gold. Learn Okay. by observation. Puts me at three. Now I can use a free draw. Mm -hmm. Sure, I play another crowded stadium because I can add to my counter and then draw. Yep. Okay, well then I'll just get my Astute Scholar and Kazen mm -hmm. to do damage to Slave Cells. Yep. I unlock my aggression to score two points. Going up slowly but surely, and I pass my turn. All right. Let's get my gold for turn. Let's put my phase counter, draw a card. Um, all right, so first things first, I'm going to have Grindon smack Eldrian. He's going to take That's two damage. That's so sad, but, but it is what it is. Totally worth it. I think I'm going to get a little risky here. I'm going to abandon my statue of the good king to draw a card. Do you think Grindon's the type of guy to skip leg day, or do you think he actually, like... Does full body work? Oh, he does what the do full body. Think? Yeah. <laughs> um, all right.
right. But man, this is such a difficult situation to be in because because of reasons. <laughs> oh, George, that restraining order. I want to get rowdy, you know. If I won't feel I won't feel bad if you try and get it out of my hands right now. I mm -hmm. want to slow Zachary down, but then do it. He's leading in points. George, actually, I don't think you should go for it. Yikes. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm pulling, to... the, I'm pulling the feelings card. Yeah, the feelings, feelings card. Eh? Okay. Um, so uh, what happens? All right, all right, all right. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spend four gold. One, two, three, four for the barbarian chieftain. This guy is actually gonna attack into your restraining order. So I don't wow. have to worry about it anymore. So wow. he's going to become hostile. Uh, oh. And then I'm going to have Grindon's routine ability give my Brindle Tusk one more power. And then I'm going to have my Brindle Tusk attack into this location here, the Verdant Path. And when he the does, Verdant he gets path. a cage counter. Okay, it is gone. And then for my last two gold, I'm going to spend two gold. I'm going to spend two gold to activate the Brindle Tusk's third ability to remove a cage counter from it. So he can go ahead and attack again. Um, all right, the and then abound? I'm gonna have my safety regulations give three health back to, Just I'll ran. give three health to Grindon. One, two, three, and three health to my Barbarian Chieftain. And then so I will end my turn scoring three points. One, two, three, and then I'll pass it over to you, Zach. All right, my turn, let's see what I can do. I'm gonna start by producing a diligent farmer token to work the fields. Uh, I'm going to immediately use its ability to gain two. I'm going to play a restraining order, oh. and I'm going to immediately use it on the Barbarian Chieftain. Yeah. <laughs> play, well, let's start by taking my free draw. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by jamming a Grand Fish Market. Um, now that I have alignment to green, I'm going to play Child of the Wild. Now, I'm going to use the Child's Arrival to make a Grey Wolf. Very cool. And then I'm going to use the Arrival of Grand Fish Market to draw myself a card. Ah, oh, boy. All my hard work trying to knock you off green alignment. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to do is play... I'm going to play another Diligent Farmer. Oh, wow. From your hand, eh? Pure Diligence. And then there's not a ton I can do here. Passing my turn. Let's get going. Uh, let's let's resolve this in a second. I'm going to play supportive friends. All right, that's going to cost you four. And they are. It's going to cost me four because I am not aligned to purple. Pay a gold. For the next time an effect would score you the points this turn, it turn it scores you that many points plus two instead. Yep. Uh oh. What I would like to do is I'd like to ask the astute scholar to attack the slave cells, destroying the slave cells that le this leaves play and it has zero health, produces two runaway slave tokens. I also abandon my crowded stadium that's already seen all its use. Mm-hmm. To give myself another draw, I put my last gold into Crowded Stadium. Sure, I'm going to use Learn by Observation on Phase 1 to give Astute Scholars Does Not Die to Supportive Friends. So his Desire to Live effect is now in the Supportive Friends. All right. Go for it. Please and do it. Destroy his Diligent Farmer. Hacking... Yes. Civilians. I thought I was the bad guy, but no. Hey, you know what? Maybe the farmer owns on slaves. Because now that the aggression is you know, unlocked, he's about to. Fair enough. So Kazen and now activates his aggression, uh, which scores points equal to the number of attacks, which I have two of from the suit and himself. But because of supportive friends' ability, when I put the coin on that, what I put my gold on, my single gold on them, so that's four. And I'm now at eight. And since you score three points or more, you can produce a another runaway slave. Right. So you combine. Thank you so much. So you combined Kazin and the supportive friends to score enough points to produce a runaway slave, when normally he would have only scored you two and not produce a runaway slave. I love Kazin. Love aggression, activating aggression. 
Okay, so I guess I pass my turn. All right. Free draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's going to be potentially eight points more unless Zach deals with some stuff. But then Zach is going to have one, two, three. Hmm. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play these two denizens with my seven gold. Whoa. And then two. I'm going to have Grindon's routine ability go onto these guys. I'm going to have Grindon attacking to the farmer. Poor farmers. Mm hmm. They're scary, though. And then I'm going to have the Brindle Tusk attacking to one of the runaway slaves. Unfortunate. All right. And then I'm going to have this guy, because he can. I'm going to attack into your Child of the Wild. Child of the Wild is gone. Mm. And then I'm going to end my turn, scoring myself another three points. Pass. Okay. Going on to take my turn, I'm going to produce a Diligent Farmer. Let's see here. I'm going to start by taking my redraw. I'm going to play a Hermit Beekeeper. Wow. This is insane. Oh, this is a good move right now. <laughs> All right. I'm going to activate Diligent Farmer, gaining a gold effectively. I will play Demoralize. Hmm. For the final part of my turn, swing my Grey Wolf into the rowdy bandits oh man all right so they trade and you score two points oh yeah um i guess i can abandon decorated path draw card and i will pass my turn okay cool 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 play quick learner wow i still have a free draw i am going to use it right now a liberation of ben k Ooh, Benkai. Liberation of Benkai. Ooh. So it's not going to do anything this turn, but next turn it, you're going to go hog wild, basically. Right. Wild, huh? Okay, so I'm going to use Learn op by Observation to give my Quick Learner Supportive Friends' his abilities. Quick Learner Supportive Friends' abilities. So I now activate. So now instead of two, it's four. I, attack, I use Astute Scholar to attack... Permanent beekeeper, and I take my runaway slave, and I use it to attack one killer yep. bees. So I use my other runaway slave to attack yep. Victor's other killer, Zach's other killer bees. I then use my supportive friends to attack diligent farmer. Yep. And I use Kazen to attack Mauricio. Mauricio, brutal. Yeah, no kidding. I'm going to activate my aggression, and since I've made it at five attacks, I'm going to get five points plus four more, and I get to uh, make a new runaway slave because of uh, Supportive Friends' ability stacking with the stolen Quick Learner's ability of Supportive Friends. Wow. Going up to 17. All right. Likelihood of us and winning I... this game is very, very low. Not very high. Yes. But... <laughs> yeah. Wow, George. That was explosive. Uh, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Like so I'm going to go ahead and play Statue of the Good King. And I'll give the Watch arrival the ability of Statue of the Good King to my Barbarian Chieftain. All right. And I'm just going to try my best to stop George from winning. So I have uh, a Declare Guilty that I can play for three now. Ooh. And that's going to target <laughs> your Quick Learner. Wow. Uh, so that's going to go on the bottom of your deck. Okay, and then I'm gonna play this card, the Indignant Knight. Oh, did I attack with this last turn? This has a cage counter, doesn't it? Uh, all right, so that means I only have two attacks. Uh, I'm going to attack this into this and this into this. So Grindon's gonna lose one health. All right, but this Liberation of Benkai is what's, is what's sealing it for you. Um, all right, oh, so okay. unfortunately, that's all I can do. So I'm just going to end my turn scoring six points, going up to 15, losing my gold, and passing it to you, Zach. All right, let's see. So work the fields. I'll make a Diligent Farmer. All right, completing work I the fields. I will put it away. I'm going to take my free draw. Um... Well, I'll use the Diligent Farmer to effectively gain a gold. Yep. I'll play Mauricio. I will then play Welcome New Settlers, 
Whew. Wow. Um, if not for Georgia's explosive turn, I think... I'll this play a killer bees. So oh, another killer bees. I have enough denizens, but I don't know how I can kill them all. Can you attack? I'm gonna your own play denizen? triumphant banner. Unfortunately, not. I will then activate the triumphant banner to draw a card. Is Zach gonna take this anyways? That would I be will insane. Then sell it. I mean. Bro, I'm gonna lose my mind if Zach takes this anyway. <laughs> okay, so you're here's. Getting, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Zach is. So here's the question: If I theoretically, not saying I have anything in my hand, but theoretically, if I were to take a denizen, um, and they've been around for a while, are they able to attack? No. If they enter your active zone, they no. can't attack. Nothing. The only thing that has swift is the chieftain, but I can't lower its health in any way. Hmm. Um. Well, let's abandon the grand fish market. Risky, but no, it's not gonna help here. Okay. I don't think I can win. No. Oh, okay. Um. So okay. So I'm using demoralize to uh target the indignant knight all right and then the runaway slave okay i'm then going to play alluring seductress to take Ooh, the indignant nice. knight all right i'll give that over to you then what i'm going to do i guess i'll play remove distractions because may as well use the last bit of gold i have i am only able to attack with the killer bees mm -hmm. but if i attack into i think the support of friends, which I'm going to do, mm -hmm. that'll take out the support of friends. Now, wow. I'm not going to be winning here, but this George, this gives you a chance to swing Kays and whoever else into Alvin's board and stop Alvin from winning next turn. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So then I use Kays in to attack Grindin. All right, so they'll trade. And then I re-summon him for four gold. Yep. He has swift. Do I attack? I, and then I... Does it matter? Does it, I guess it's something to keep him alive. So I guess it's attack this alluring seductress or, Mar, Mar, or Mauricio. So I assume it's... Yeah, the, either or is fine. Yeah, either or is fine. Yeah, so I'll take... I'll take uh, and then I have uh, the liberation of Bankai gives me gives me double attack. It gives uh, it gives me um, increases those Denzian attack limits by one until end of turn. I can attack two more times. Or oh, you can attack one, more, one time? more time. It increases his attack limit by one. Uh, he's already attacked, but it'll increase his attack limit to two until end of turn, which means you can attack one more time, getting yourself one more attack. So now I attack Mauricio to take no damage. Right. Now you've made three attacks this turn. Which means I get another Runaway Slave, and I score three points, which... One, two, three... <gasps> I win the game! Oh my goodness, George. Your wow. first win in our show. Yeah. Uh, it's been a pleasure, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Good I, game. It was a good game. Um, I'm jazzed. Now I want to know how many other ways you can win... This game, this is, this game's fantastic, Alvin. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, George, you've been improving bit by bit every episode. Um, the last couple episodes that you played in, you were so close to winning. But this time, you finally came out on top. You finally came out victorious. Nice. All right. Finally. <laughs> on the board. All right. So, Zach, how did you feel about the performance of your deck? I feel like you were so close to winning so many turns. I was like legitimately oh, scared me. of your deck the whole time. I think it went really well. The only thing I, I would like to see more in my list is probably ways to deal with uh, other people pulling ahead. Right. When it pulls ahead, it's able to stay ahead pretty easily. But I, I struggle to crawl back up from bad spots. Yeah, that turn nine was a pretty... Uh, huge swing for you, but yeah, maybe maybe a couple hostile punishers would have just sent us back into the Stone Age, right? Yeah, just one or two. Yeah, for my deck, I I tried to control the board as much as I as I could, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to control it quite enough. 
uh, like was it if it was able to get back to my turn nine, um, I think I I could have taken this if I could have just somehow controlled the board just a little bit more. Uh, if I could have just stopped George from scoring that one extra point. But uh, yeah, it was a little a little too much that he had. A little, he had a little bit too much gas. And I never have enough usually. So. All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Champions of Meandir gameplay. I hope you guys had fun. I was very blown away by uh, what I saw today. I hope you at home, the viewer, enjoyed what you saw as well. On behalf of Zach and George, see you next episode. Bye. Bye.